Sports Connection, sponsored by Sterling Chiropractic. Welcome into Sports Connection, the first one of September. I'm back, Caden Gaylord Day, and as always here is Mr. Brian Webster. How are you doing today? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> Caden's back. Big weekend of football oh, across yes, the board. Yes, football is in full swing now, almost here. NFL starts this upcoming week, but college football is back. And that's where we're going to start first with those tops. The WKU Hilltoppers were back at the house. They had this 2023 season open, opener Saturday afternoon against South Florida with the tops coming out on top in this one, 41 to 24. Yeah, it was, you know, like I said, it was kind of one of those slow starters. But, uh, you know, I guess some takeaways from this one is, first of all, we beat a really good South Florida team, you know, thanks to Willie Taggart getting those two games uh, in that venture. Uh, but the tops gave up 374 yards on the ground, Caden. That'll get better, I think. Coach Summers will have that figured out. But we had 465 yards of offense, and, you know, Austin had had a good, real good second half. Dalvin Smith, baby, uh, seven on 11 targets. Had a long TD there, 42 yards, 97 total. We ran it 23 times for 129. Uh, what's your take? Yeah, man, Austin Reed, 29 to 50, 336, two TDs and one on the ground. You know, you, you read the stats. If you're a stat watcher, you're thinking, hey, that was a good game. But honestly, that was an underwhelming Austin Reed game. And I don't say that as a I, I agree. bad thing. I say it as that's how used to greatness we are seeing yeah. from him is that we've seen a lot better. So, you know, the thing is, you know, Malachi Corley went down with a chest injury, rib injury down late in the first quarter. Uh, early second quarter we need and him. the fact that he went out early in the game and the Hilltoppers were able That's to come back and win this point. game after being down 17 to 7 I think yes. it shows how deep this receiver core is and how good it can be by the end of the season. Jacquez Evans could go all the <laughs> way. Nice little uh, fumble, or I guess that's a... I, I called it a strip a, sack yeah, fumble. Strip sack corner. fumble score. Yeah. I, I mean, my goodness, you got to love that. Uh, no, I think the defense uh, had a really good second half and really showed Absolutely. up. We got a lot of guys, you know, those are some transfers that Johnson showed up big, you know, Stout, all those guys had a good game. I'm looking forward to it. Should be a big blowout Absolutely. at... Uh, that Houston LT Christian, yeah. formerly Houston Baptist, where yeah. who came from? Uh, yeah, hey, that Zappy. would be Z Zappy oh, came from there, who, who uh, for some reason is on the practice squad <laughs> in New England. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, well, that's some good high, a good high school football coming up. But man, what a great uh, weekend on the hill! Absolutely, and Malachi Corley is expected to be okay, by the way. So we're going to transition to the high school scene down in Lexington. The Purples they played on a Saturday night for the second Deuce. time this season and suffered another heartbreaking loss in the end as they faced off against the Bryan Station defenders, and they lost 38 to 35 with the game-winning field goal. Man, I know I know. Deuce had 327 yards, a couple picks. Uh, you know, these purples, get, don't don't be thinking that something's wrong because it's not. I mean, uh, Deuce has done everything games. he can do, uh, and the team's playing good. It's just some of those close games, you just come oh, yeah. out on the other side. Katie. Three three tough games this season so far. Station, LCA, you know. Uh, they have not a, district games, though. Exactly. That's the point. You know, they, they, it. Facing off tough teams in the beginning is going to help them towards the end because they also got to play St. X this year. They do. So, and then they're going to be playing the South Horn Spartans, yeah. who I don't think we got footage on. But uh, uh, Bryce on the button, another big game for him. Three through the air, 250-ish yards, 63 on the ground. So they'll be playing these guys, and that's going to be the Very biggest cool. game of the century. Absolutely. Well, we're going to transition up to Barron County. And for the first time since 1995, the Barron County Trojans are 3-0 and after beating Warren East 7-6. State Tate Spillman, my guy, scored the TD late to tie it up, and then Trojans girls soccer player Hadley Adams kicked the extra point to put them on top in this. The game. Raiders! I don't know, man. They'll be fine. They're figuring it out. That goal line stand, though, they had was pretty big. Trey Price uh, ha had a nice uh, TD there. Ma you know, Terrence, Maddox Terrence, a great player. Dane Parsley, though, 9-19, 120. They'll get it on track, though. You mentioned Tate Spillman, man. 10-14, 116 yards. Uh, Bray Bailey. Big one for 38, uh, three catches. Man, I tell you what, though, you like you said, first time since 1995. That is wild. Absolutely. And then we'll transition to in the battle of the undefeated, the game that Mr. Brian Webb was at. The Franklin Simpson Wildcats beat Allen County Scottsdale 31 to 21 to move it three and zero. 
Man, I tell you what, this is always a bruiser, man. A lot of paint being traded in this game, and it started off a couple fumbles here and there. Uh, Patriots came back, though, made it a 10-point game at the end. Watch out for the Patriots. They got a tough schedule, but Franklin Simpson, Max Cheney's got those guys midseason four. All right, and then real quick, I'll just mention Warren Central got his first win of the season, beating Butler County 40-26. to uh, Logan County beat Russellville to stay 3-0 this season, and Glasgow beat shut out Monroe County 28-0 to stay 3-0 this year. So a lot of great teams around here. I was wondering these Butler County boys, these Phelps boys are pretty good. And, and there's a Phelps, famous Phelps family, the Kentucky Headhunters. I wonder if there's any, uh, that's kind of what they're like out there. But Dakota Hunter for Central had a good one. Howard had a good game. Patterson, Grave, all of them came up big. But in that Bryan Station uh, loss for Purple's had, they had three running backs though. Uh, Washington, Cutright, and Bennett, 337 yards rushing. And uh, two TDs for Washington and a TD apiece for the other two. So, Absolutely. great man, that's around. some running backs. Don't right go there. anywhere. We have a fun show for you today. Keep it here on Sports Connection.